We have exclusive details about a death that rocked a tiny Cape Breton fishing community. A lobster fisherman, Philip Boudreau, has been missing and presumed dead for almost a month now. Well, CBC News has obtained a portion of the police file, and it reveals details about the final moments of Boudreau's life. Three suspects are due to appear in court this morning, charged with second-degree murder. And covering it all is our Fonce Jessam, who's live outside the courthouse in Port Hawkesbury. Fonce, tell us a little bit about that exclusive information you've been able to discover. Yeah, Heather, and a cautionary note here, of course, this information is contained in the police file, the investigation file here. This is not evidence. It has not been entered in court. It has not been challenged uh, by defense lawyers. That said, one of the three lobster fishermen charged in this case, and all three will be arriving here at the uh, courthouse in Port Hawkesbury shortly, gave a statement, uh, an interrogation statement uh, to investigators shortly after his arrest. And the story he tells is a chilling tale. Uh, he says the twin Maggies, the lobster boat, uh, rounded the point early on the morning of June 1st and spotted the victim in this case, Philip Boudreau, in a small open uh, motorboat similar to a speedboat. Um, and that at that point he was cutting the trap lines of the gear belonging to the twin Maggies. Now, other lobster fishermen in the uh, Petit de Gras area have told us that this is part of an ongoing dispute over territory on the water, that Boudreau was cutting the traps of the twin Maggies because he believed it shouldn't have been fishing in the area that it was fishing in. That's the background here. But, but the tale that James Landry, 65-year-old James Landry, told police is, is, as I say, a chilling tale. He says that he saw black. He was so enraged when they came around the point and saw Boudreau. He says Boudreau actually mocked the crew of the Twin Maggies, waving his knife in the air uh, because he was cutting the gear and began to race away. Uh, Landry says at that point he took a rifle that he had on the fishing boat, and fishermen in Cape Breton often carry rifles on their boats, uh, Heather, to shoot seals. They're allowed to shoot seals if they catch them destroying gear. He says he took that rifle and uh, fired the first shot, and at that point he says Boudreaux's faster small boat stalled. He doesn't know if he hit the motor or whether the motor became tangled in the fishing gear that Boudreaux was cutting, but either way, he was dead in the water. And at that point, he says they continued in the big lobster boat to race toward Boudreau, and he continued shooting. He says he believes his second shot hit Philip Woodrow because he fell over in the boat at that point. And he says the twin Maggies uh, then ran over Boudreau's smaller boat a couple of times, and they did not see his body after that. He says at that point they left the area. Of course, we do know that his overturned, Philip Woodrow's overturned boat was found a short time later by another lobster boat towed to port in uh, Arishat, and divers began a search for his body. They searched repeatedly, RCMP divers, but that body has never been recovered. But that's the story that James Landry told to investigators uh, in the hours following his arrest here.